70 years ago, a small group of British businessmen traveled to China. They became known as the icebreakers. Now meet the bridge builders, the individuals continuing the icebreaker spirit to open up our world. So far, live, live. Hong Emma Ha. Hello, Hong Emma Ha. How are you? Roger, Major. How are you? My dad's an amazing musician, my mum's an amazing gardener, but I feel like they never really had lots of people being able to enjoy their art and their work. Finally, people have a chance to see them and to interact with them. Now it's like thousands, millions of people. So for me, that makes me really proud. I was born in Beijing. Our family were really poor, but uh, we had a really, really nice time. When I was in China, I was professional musician. I'm doing so well, and uh, I was soloist in the Peking Film Orchestra. My sister was here first, and uh, she saying, Yi, you have an opportunity to come to England. So uh, I just uh, gave up my job. I bought a single tea case from Beijing to London. I saw some people basking in the underground station. I saw why I'm not trying that. So I tried basking in South Kensington. And then I met the their Irish band, it's called the Chieftains. And they immediately asked me to have a tour with them. For 17 years, we have a chance to play music with Walmart, and also we're traveling all over the world. We represent China. We met so many people. I met a lot of uh, famous musicians. We had a fantastic time. That's my first time recording for the Hollywood film in the Ivy Road studio. And then I played for the, the Last Emperor with David Bourne. I met Goi mm. when he was busking in South Ken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Toto was born in 1992. Yeah. Um, and it was amazing, actually, because I'd always been told I might not be able to have children, so mm. he was a, a sort of a gift. Well, yeah, my name is Toto. I come from London. My dad is Chinese, my mum is English, so mixed background. And I am a vlogger, model, host, kind of general Chinese media guy. And I remember at a very young age, being quite confused. What does this mean to be half British, half Chinese? Because I knew that that meant that I was different from a lot of my British friends. From a young age, I remember feeling a real distance between me and my dad because he was always working. And I think as a result of that, I never really spent enough time with him for us to bond properly and for him to teach me any Chinese at all. But at the same time, I was very interested and it was always a kind of dream of mine to go there and finally you know, become Chinese and explore that side of me. I was 25 when I first went to China to live and began learning Chinese. The culture there is so different from London. You know, in London, it's a fantastic place. I love how multicultural it is and it's, it's my home. And what's different in Beijing is that China feels very connected. It feels like a very united culture. And so it kind of feels like one big family and slowly I felt more and more part of that. When I first came back to the UK, I felt trapped. I was like, oh my God, I lost my life in China and mum and dad weren't well and it was a really dark situation. But then because we've been doing the videos and we found some really interesting ways to reach China from the UK. 
It also means we spend more time together, which we never really did before. It's very strange, but it's also really sweet. Yeah, it makes me really proud to finally let them show their art, their talent. I'm English and Goi is Chinese. I think there's an interest in that. And then the gardening one I do. I think because a lot of people love gardening. I'm already nearly 70 years old. I don't have much time left. When I have this energy, I want doing a lot of things to build between China and England. It is like building bridges and making friends and building a community. So this kind of mixed community is getting bigger and bigger. And mm -hmm. I hope in the future there's more and more and more bridge builders. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. It will make a better world. I feel quite a little bit proud that we've maybe brought something together. You know, I think sharing something so two different cultures can see that we're not that different. The secret to a happy family <laughs> life, you take 50% Chinese wisdom, 50% British wisdom, put them together, that's the secret to a happy family life. Hey, thank you,